guys, overall, I would give this product an A plus for a subcompact tractor that's for under three acres. I would say if you're a homeowner and you have lots of projects where you're going to be renting a machine a lot, definitely, definitely, definitely buy this piece of equipment. It's cheap. The financing is easy. The Usually the loan, as long as you have decent credit, the loans are really great. The term is great. I can't scream enough about the LS buying process and how well my LS has treated me. I know some people say there's some issues with them, but you get some issues with every machine. So I'm very happy with the machine. And if you guys would ask me to grade it, I would say A+. Plus. I couldn't be happier with how compact it is, how light it is, yet how heavy duty it is. So that's what I have to say about this machine. So I hope you guys stay and find out why I say that. Then backhoe that goes on the L... Uh, LSMT-122 or LSMT-125 tractor. Uh, both of those tractors are about the same, just a little bit different in horsepower. And as you can tell, I actually have some pads that the tractor place in New Hampshire sells. And I really, really, really cannot stress them enough. I've seen lots of people looking for these trailer feet pads. If your dealer sells them, a lot of them are just the sticky ones that fall right off. These are bolt on, these are thick, these are heavy duty, and they're much better than using some metal or angle iron where it's gonna damage any concrete or hard surface. Or sometimes I felt like with the metal ones, you would dig in places you didn't want to if you're trying to keep the lawn nice or what have you. Uh, one thing I wanted to talk about is how deep this dug today. Um, as you're going to see later in the video, we got down about six and a half, seven feet. After about six feet, the digging is kind of limited and you're really pushing the machine all the way down. But up to six feet, this thing did an amazing job, as you guys can tell. Today, as you're going to tell in this video, there was uh, Pete as the operator. He's never even ran a uh, backhoe before. So for novice operators, this is a great machine and will really teach you how to run bigger machines and without as much damage or risk I guess to say not as much damage as much risk if you have some damage you're gonna have some problems so stay to the end uh, leave a comment if you can below on what you think about this video and please like and subscribe thank you so much let me let you see what this thing can do to dig I want to show you what each of the controls do these two are supposed to control your stabilizing legs this and this one control the arm and how it moves as you could tell, one side moves the, the swivel side to side, this moves the swivel side to side, and this lets the boom in and out this way. This side lets your bucket in and out, swings the bucket out, swings it in. This will swing the arm out, swing the arm in. You'll get the hang of it once you start running a little bit, and as you can tell, there's uh, these just up and down, you know, run uh, the augers. Um, the lines, you're going to have a blue a red and a white and the blue should have a 90 the white should be have a 90 as well the uh, the blue is a male the white is a female the red is a female the red is a straight so I figured to let you guys know how it is you lock it back up into here uh, the hooks on the bottom and then you put these two pins in the top hook up the lines and you're good to go so I figured to show everybody that and let's get to watching this thing dig
get the next day update and see if the drain is working. We have not set the grade correctly yet because we need to order some hard pack, but I did, looks like we got uh, a little bit of water running from both sides. And let's see if it's pooling down there. It is not pooling, it is perking. So we're doing pretty good. I'm uh, pretty happy overall. Looks like all the water's running down. So overall, I call this a success. Thank you guys for watching. Okay.